Hey, here we are. We're, uh, we're, where are we? I don't even know where we are. We are now at Capcom. Leo and Ant's excellent CES adventure are brought to you from Twit and the Twit LastPass Studios, securing every access point in your company. It doesn't have to be a challenge. LastPass unifies access and authentication to make securing your employees simple and secure. Check out lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Pepcon is the press event that starts at the beginning of the CES It's like the convention. first in the show that's the show CES before the even show. started. Right. It's pretty much the show before the show. The convention opens up tomorrow, so yeah. a lot of the attendees will be able to get in the there. But at this event, this is all press and media, and we get a little bit of a sneak peek, if you will. The whole... Let me give you the real scoop. Yeah, first. go ahead. Just break it down. The idea is, if you can get the press's attention in on Sunday or Monday, they're already gone home by the time CES yeah. starts. <laughs> so most of the coverage you'll see from the Consumer Electronics Show, we don't call it that anymore, CES, CES. will be from the event last night, which I didn't come out for. I've never gone to event. CES unveiled. No, I've never gone to it. I'd no. rather come to these it's, myself. It's, yeah. So... There are probably, I don't know what you say, a hundred companies here. Roughly. They've spent, I'm gonna guess, last time I checked it was about ten to fifteen thousand dollars, it's probably twice that. Sounds now. about right. Sounds Just about to right. have this little booth here because there's so much press. The way that the Pepcom folks get the press here, how do they get the press here? Well they food. Right. <laughs> Doesn't know you, you forgot food. booze. <laughs> and booze. <laughs> Free food and booze. And what we're gonna try to do is find some interesting things, but we're not gonna focus too much on the obvious stuff because that's where you're gonna see all of that stuff. Like I see already Oral B is here. I bet you, I'm gonna guess, let me guess. I don't know. Bluetooth connected toothbrush. Or dental floss. Oh, even better. What what if this Bluetooth dental floss? <laughs> now that's innovative. <laughs> What it, it'll have never you happen. gotten a chance? You were here before me. Have you looked around at all? Or no, I just sort of watched people walk in just to see yeah. who I could spot. Them, right? Yeah. So. Well, and Ant's a celebrity, so he can't no, go five not even steps close. without running into somebody. So Not even close. All right, so uh, should we go see the Bluetooth now? Let's, Let's go do it. Let's Wait go. a minute. No, no, before that, Charmin is here. Charmin? Now, I As heard Charmin paper? has a robotic toilet paper fetcher so if you run out on the toy toy it comes to you you think they might be let's go see if i is, want some of that this would be pretty cool <laughs> it is it is forget bluetooth dental floss right this is so much better did you invent this yes me amongst many other people so the robot specifically is about a situation which i find myself constantly in i'm sure maybe sure i want to know you guys this situation. <laughs> So you sat down, you've actually finished your business. And you look. And you look, and there's, there's, no, there's no paper. So what do you, so you, what do, you do? Your phone. Yeah, exactly. So normally, if you're lucky enough to have a friend, you can call out your friend. But yeah. what if you don't have a friend or you're yeah. too embarrassed to do, yeah. do so? You whip out your phone, you press a button, and this little guy charges in to save the day with a new roll of toilet paper. I know he has a Charmin bear on his front. That's yeah. very cute. Exactly. Does he have a name? Robot. When will this be available, if ever? Oh, so this currently is a prototype. Uh, we don't have plans for it to be on the market as Never. of yet. But what else? Is this yeah. a toilet seat that does something fun? Oh, well, this is a golden toilet seat for one. Yeah. So yeah. this is just for display. And, okay. and here's my partner, Greg. As well. Hey, Greg, Leo. Nice Leo. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Did you pay extra to be the first thing in the door as people come in? I cannot answer that. I usually <laughs> ask to be close to the bar, but no, no. This we, is a good We have a good spot. And you'll get a spot. lot of attention because we, who doesn't love robots? Of course. Yeah. The, the, the greatest part about it is what we do, yeah. everybody's a consumer, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And we found it. We can oh, go home now. God. It's over. We're done. <laughs> All right, you get the next one, Ed. You well, get the next let's one. see. Well, we'll go this way. Ricky. These Ricky. folks is Zag. Yeah. I saw them at the Pepcon at San Francisco a couple weeks ago, and I got to tell you, I was a little harsh on them. They wanted to show me some Bluetooth earbuds and tell, tell me how great they were. And I told them, no, they're going to be crap because every wireless Bluetooth hit earbuds that I get, I sweat through them in my workout and they last maybe two workout sessions. He promised me these was going to work. 
they lived up to it. I've been deadlifting. I've been doing squats. I have put them through the ringer, and they've been working. And I told them I was going to come back and give them their credit. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. I need you to prove me wrong. And? And be brave in the fly sport rush. Can they survive an ant crew at workout? They and did. They did. They did. I'm not even surprised. They did. Now, these are already available on the market, correct? They're available today, yes. Now, what's the pricing for these? So these are $79.99, and what's impressive about that is we've loaded these with 10-hour playtime. As you've heard, you can tell us that it's uh, insanely waterproof, beyond Rocky Mountain tested. It's, it's, it's ant-tested. Yes, it's ant-tested, so. <laughs> uh, you get 26 additional hours of playtime from the case for a total of 36 hours of playtime. You will never be in shortage of uh, battery life for your earbuds so that you can keep going in whatever your adventure is. Nice, very nice. Now you rated these at IP... IPX5, but here's what's crazy is when you were testing these, we did more testing and we found that even what we produced was IPX7. So we went deeper on it. Right. Uh, which is good. So, so you basically uh, under promised and over delivered on IP rating. Right? We did. Ah. Which, as a marketer, nice touch. You know, we tend to go the other way sometimes, but this time we proved it I out. I give you credit. Oh my God! Quick, get out of here. There's some crazy you man. Hold the no, no, get in here, Chad. Oh my God! This, we don't need to hold anybody to hold the camera. Amazing! Oh, you see? this is great. This you is see? like old home week. <laughs> no, when I go down, you go up. Oh, oh don't I'll go down, down at the same time. <laughs> Wait, we have to go down together. Yeah. Three, two. <laughs> see, he doesn't get it. <laughs> have you scattered the food yet? Yeah. Yes. What yes. should I be eating? There's great. There's great stuff. I've yeah, I've, I've, I've scouted it out. Yeah. The egg rolls, the, the buffalo chicken egg rolls, are very good. Now I got mine in the back, but maybe these are the same. What kind of eggs do buffalo chicken lay? Feathery ones. <laughs> they were so light. So light. And How light were they, they Ricardo? They were so light that I took two home to sleep on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's that? Oh my Wait God. This <laughs> is. That is Jason Heiner. How you doing? Excellent. I am so glad to see you. I mean, I, I, I owe so much to you because you gave me a chance with TechRepublic.com and helped me get my branding out and helped me be and able to stole weasel my way into the <laughs> Twitch studios. I love it. I love that you, you know, <laughs> hired him. What, what, what are you looking forward to out here? Yeah, you know, it's one of these crazy things. This show changes and evolves so much, right. you know, all the time. Right. And now it's like um, so much is talking about things like services and health and wellness and ambient computing. Oh, you know, ambient there's only, computing. There's only one thing I really care about. Yeah. That's the Wall-E chair from Ninebot. I'm dying to see that. <laughs> I, mean, I want to go for a ride in it. I'm a Segway lover, but yeah. now I yeah. can sit out. Yes, yes. And Segway and Ninebot, they're... Uh, they got, they, bought, they Segway. bought Segway. Segway right? kind of went, went down. And, yeah. But it's they have all the fun. technology. The irony is Ninebot was a Segway copycat. They made low-end oh, cheap yeah, segways, right. right. and then Segway ran on hard times. All right. Didn't help their CEO went off a cliff in a Segway. And died. Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah, that was, bad. So now, was a bad scene. So they sold to Ninebot, Chinese company. Yeah. But the good news is Ninebot still makes Segways, and they're kind of improving on it. Should we go over and look at it? Yeah, let's, let's go, go take a look. Yeah. Here you go, Leo. This is the new way to go to your office. The Segway moving chair. The only thing missing is a cup holder. I need a cup holder. You might need to wear a helmet. Safety first. Safety first. Safety What's first. the top speed on this thing? The max speed goes to 24 miles per hour. Yeah. But currently we're restricted to 7.5 miles per hour. And of course in the future, depending on the local government regulations, we can place different restrictions on the top speed. So this is in the prototype. You're going to make this? You're going to sell this? Concept. When will it be available? It will be end of this year. End of 2020. Commercial version. And, and then for good because I have two segways at home. I love my segways, uh -huh. but I don't like to stand up. Yeah. I want to sit down. Right. So that will be next year. You control it with this joystick. Uh, yeah, and also with the, this pad here. You can control with the pad, and you can remote control as well. So one of the things that this would be a great for people who are mobility challenged. Right. It's it's a wheelchair. Well, we don't want to say 
say that because we design this really for everybody. Everybody. Yeah, so people, they want some comfort. Like they're not a fan of cake scooters. They can choose this. It's really comfortable. It is really comfortable. Yeah, I, and then you are traveling. I love it. Inside. Let me ask you one thing though. Yes. I, I know I'm not going to like the answer. How much is this going to cost you? We so? haven't decided yet. Five thousand dollars. We haven't decided. Ten thousand dollars. We haven't decided. Fifteen thousand no dollars. I'll give you a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> All right, let's get Dick D. Bartolo in the throne. They're pretending you're going to go somewhere. You're not going anywhere. We just don't want you well, to fall out. Why am I doing that? <laughs> All right, I've actually seen now the two most important things. I saw the robotic toilet paper. Yeah. I saw the Segway, the Wally chair. And it was all at the front door. You, uh, what do you think? We really don't need to go I'm anywhere else, you, right? 99% <laughs> all the coverage would be from those two things. <laughs> Should we eat something? Wait a minute. I know what you oh, want to eat. Oh, what do we have here? That is some beautiful camera stuff. I want to see the Z6. I want to see the mirrorless Z6, see how it feels. So the Nikon Z6 is going to be a 24 megapixel camera. It has amazing low light ability. Uh, this is a mirrorless camera, so you're going to have excellent autofocus yes, very fast. You're going to have 4K full pixel readout video. Oh, 4K crispy. Uh, now have the ability to do a full 12 bit raw output. Uh, with ProRes RAW using the Atmos Ninja over here. Oh, you get ProRes? Yes, you do. Oh my goodness. That, so that's an upgrade. Having, having that kind of capability in Kodak can really push your cinematic video quality to the next level, right? Next level, you got it. Oh my goodness, yes. this is great. And you also have uh, 120 frame at uh, 1080 and also, um, so you can do very, very crispy slow-mo. Now, when it comes to shooting stills, you're gonna have some people that are really amped up about how many frames per second per still? So, what's the frames per second if I want to just high speed shoot? Oh, it's probably stuck on that for you, but I believe it's uh, seven frames per second. Seven frames, okay, yes. that's that's plenty fast enough. Yes. This um, is not a sports camera. Oh, well, it can be, absolutely. But it can? Okay. Well, okay. I'll go faster in a uh, mirror and silent mode. You can do a little bit faster. Okay. Um, and I think you'll find it uh, plenty fast for uh, most sports. Outstanding. And, uh, what makes it a really great sports camera, too, is a couple things. One is it's amazing in low light. Okay. As you know, a lot of sports don't have it, you know, in bright sunlight. Right. So with that low light ability, you can actually capture that action and freeze that frame with right. your underneath gym lights. Right? Oh, the man, oh, yes. The next thing that makes it an amazing sports camera is Nikon lenses. Right. As you know, Nikon, we make some of the most yes, amazing lenses, yes, uh, yes. including this new 70 to 200 millimeter for the Z now, which will fit on that. I need to see that. All right, so brand new, just came out an hour ago, 70 to 200 millimeter. Brand F2 new 8. 70 to 200 f2.8. This is Holy a professional photographer with bread and butter lens. That is what's up. Yes, and uh, so the Z now allows for a wider lens mm -hmm. in the back and a wider diameter. That's more light in. More light in. Yes, and it allows for more quality. Uh, and a lot more interesting lens size. So professional lens, weather sealed, multiple custom function buttons, display up top, uh, memory button. Yes, this is And this doesn't weigh anything. anything. This is a lightweight 70 to 200. Very nice. Very nice. Now, this just came out today, so what is the uh, MSRP? Uh, that's going to be 25 dollars 95 25 for the new F2.8 7200 Nikon, which will fit the uh, Z6 body. Very nice. We're going to have to tear an <laughs> ant away from the Nikon. Booth. I'm sorry. Let me wipe the drool off my face here a minute. Okay, thank you. He's really excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's only 10 grand, man. I, I got to cool off now. And you said you wanted some red bit. meat. I think we found some, yeah. don't you think? <laughs> so Micah Sargent's favorite thing in the world is this. It's better. And he has it in his bed. This is the sleep tuner. So this is a wearable sensor. And it has an accelerometer, and it has a, an optical sensor, and it measures whether you're breathing, if you stop breathing, your oxygen saturation, your heart rate, your sleep position, your sleep duration. And this is now paired with a mobile application. And then we basically put you into contact with a sleep coach, as well as a board certified sleep physician. Now, where do I put this though? Do I wear it? This is actually worn on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look weird, does Not he? Not at all. Not at all. 
This is the comfort and privacy of your own bedroom. That's the one place you can truly be weird. Do you glue it on or do you have a strap? No, you use adhesives. And so that's, that is fixes to your forehead. It's very comfortable. It stays in place over the course of the night. Um, and it's gathering clinical grade diagnostic data and we have two regulatory clearances from the FDA on the accuracy of this particular product. That's one of the things Michael liked about this, Michael, is that you could basically get the benefits of a sleep study without having to spend the night in the hospital. Exactly. And that's what we're trying to do here is we're not trying to be a sleep tracker. What we're trying to do is to make the formal sleep test more accessible to the millions and millions of people that have chronic sleep issues. So if I stop breathing or I'm snoring heavily, it'll catch that and say, you know what, you didn't you didn't breathe a few times last night. You might have want to look at that. So we're measuring your oxygen saturation at over 50 times per second. Just from my forehead? From your forehead. Why is he running? He's running because he loves running. <laughs> Are you gonna run the whole thing? We switch every 15. Stay away from the buffalo wings egg rolls. You won't, you'll, you'll regret it. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. <laughs> so, so you're with Nerve Run. Nerve Run, that's What correct. is Nerve Run? Nerve Run, we're a new wearable for runners. So it's uh, a smart insole. Oh, it's in his shoe. It's in his shoe. I'm going to steal this for a it's second. It's in his shoe. Yeah. So this is the insole. It's super thin. Uh, then it has a tongue that goes on the outside of your shoe. So this is what it's going to look like. This is what it looks like You're on my foot. So what does this measure besides one, how many steps you take? It'll measure your pronation, your step length. Pronation? Yeah. So if, you're, if your feet go in or out, yes. it'll know that. It'll know that. And you can get that. a shoot it to correct it. You can get a shoe to correct it. You can also improve your strength to correct it. And the app will let you know. We also offer live in-app coaching. So while you're running, you'll have your headphones in or you can have your watch and it'll provide haptic cues as well as visual cues. And you can you can run and it'll tell you set your you set your pace. And as you are running, it'll tell you what you need to do to maintain that pace. Watch out for the bus! <laughs> <laughs> don't, let the, don't let the bus hit you or you hit the bus, either way. Is this available now? <laughs> it, we are launching today. Like, we launched nice. today. So available now. Where? Right. Online? Online uh, and in Apple stores as well as um, Best Buy. And how much? Um, these are going to retail for about $2.99. Two hundred ninety-nine. That's correct. That's not bad. It's less than these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Look who's oh here! God. Scott Wilkinson and Tom Merritt. How you doing? Good. How's it going? Hey guys, are you getting thinner? Yes. Are you getting yes. fatter? I am. I'm getting I'm fatter good. with you. Hi. How are you? Unbelievable. How about you? It's TV Sarah Lane. Yes. Wow. That's right. That's right. Wow. This is what CES is all about, That's right? right? All of the reasons. This is what CES is all about. That's what brought me back. Running, Running into people. Everyone. Oh, you got something. I did. Oh, oh good man. You're not starving. I wouldn't I, want him to I faint I need on. to have my food. <laughs> Our friend Stacy Higginbotham loves her faucet because she could say, put a cup of water in there. You want to talk about the faucet, the faucet. That's over there. What are you showing here? We have a smart water shutoff over oh, here. this is cool. And a smart oh, water better. detector. So, so what is this? This, this proactively monitors the integrity of your plumbing system. So if you have a leak anywhere in the system, will it see it? Anywhere in the home, this will identify whether you have a leak even is down to a drop of water a minute. How does it know? Yes, great question. I'd have to kill you if I did. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's only in one spot in the whole house. That's right. right. It's in one spot where we're proactively monitoring all three fluid mechanical elements of the system. Water pressure, temperature, and flow. So, so I can see how you know that somewhere there's a problem yes. because there's some flow that you don't expect. Yes. But how would you be able to pinpoint it? Can't pinpoint it. I can't tell you exactly you tell where me it's from. You could just say something's dripping. Exactly. And Got then it. we can help you narrow it down from there. So okay. you could go around, you can shut off certain fixtures. Got it. Rerun what we have. It's called a health test. So I'll show you how this works. It's actually really cool if you've never seen it before. So imagine you have a small drip anywhere in your home. This could be anywhere, is. right? Yeah. Just that little drip, it was able to see that there was a drip in the house. Correct. Wow, that's great. So it does that by shutting off the water and monitoring the pressure, very much like a balloon. Imagine a balloon that's full of air. As long as the balloon is sealed, the air pressure stays constant. You poke a tiny hole in that balloon, 
then you're going to see the air pressure drop. Right. We do the same thing with the home water system every day. We shut off the water and monitor the pressure. Is this available now? It's available now. It's Where? Been sold in Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon. It's the leading product. How in much? Space. Four ninety nine. Great. Thank and you. This smart water detector is forty nine dollars. What does that do? And this is a separate point of use sensor. So it'll tell you humidity, temperature, and if it comes into contact with water, comes a little nice antenna you can put anywhere you like. So I'll just drop this in some water over here. If it comes into contact with the water, again, it's gonna it's gonna notify you. And then if you have it connected to your smart water shut off, it's gonna shut off the oh, water. Look at that. It just turned off the water. Yeah. Yeah. Heard of you and so just I, shut off the water. Yeah. So this happens. This happens to me all the time. The, the water is leaking from the fridge, or the, the water exactly. heaters burst a leak. This would prevent any any loss, exactly. any water damage. So you can use these together, you put these or you can use the them separate. Nice. Yeah. Very these cool. are also great for environmental conditions too. You have a wine room. You want to keep a certain temperature or something. You want to. Uh, you you have a leak in a in a in a ceiling that you know about, and you want to make sure that if it leaks again, you want to know about it. You can use them for all kinds of things. We actually there. have a leak. I need this right now. We're going to go to Home Depot. <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. I appreciate it. I want to see the faucet, too. My friend Stacy Higginbotham misses her Mullen faucet. Yeah? Because she would just put a cup under there and say to her Amazon Echo, put a cup of water in there. That's what this yeah, does? this is exactly what that does. You talk to the faucet, except I see you have a Google Home. So you talk to the talk Google or Alexa. Yeah, good. talk to each one. You give them a simple voice command. You can have a preset, like baby bottle, or, or you can ask for a specific amount of water, like one cup. You can also ask for a specific temperature. Wow. 105 degrees, 98 degrees. Combine all those into a preset and have everyday tasks automated That's for you. That's fantastic. I love that idea. Is this available now? It's available in February. February. Yes. And you'll sell it in all the home. So we'll have it in Home Depot yeah. and, and some other major retailers. Do you know what the price will be? Yes. Yeah, so our starting point is $450 for the uh, spot resist stainless, which is the same finish you see here. That's our most kind of popular finish in the market. Set up to connect it to your Wi Fi through the Moen app. Are you ready to go? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> no. Thing. Have you seen anything interesting? Uh, at the Asus. Uh, at the Asus. Uh, you love showcase. the Asus stuff. Well, no, the, not Acer. Asus. 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 They've got the new 360 hertz refresh monitors. Oh, those look good. All people have to do is look at look at it side by side. Look at a, a 240 refresh next to a 360 refresh, and you'll immediately know why you want the 360. Yeah. I'm assuming you're going to bring some gadgets from CES. I don't know. You're going to bring some gadgets. I don't know. You're going to pick some stuff. I've got, I've got a couple. Do. Last year, Robert came back with that thing Ladder that told you what, yeah, where you had to pee. <laughs> was it a catheter? And I remember that no, it wasn't because he had to run right out and pee <laughs> at the end of the it show. He said, "Oh." That same company has a new product this year. Oh, what's that for? It's the same thing, but it's for your bowels. In, in, oh my god. I am I'm very sick. You don't want to touch me. No, I'm <laughs> Zero. Yeah, this is it. This is where the Vegas blue starts. Exactly. It's me. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm so what's but, going on here? This is Sentence? So Sentence is a... Sentence. Yeah. So Sentence is actually a startup in, based in the Bay Area. They are making every surface interaction, uh, interactive. Okay. Um, interactive. Uh, whether that's wood, metal, plastic. And I'm actually going to hand you off over to Remy and Evelyn. So it's just sound waves on this particular touch surface is what right. we're working with. Okay. And when you touch this, you can uh, disrupt oh. that. Wow. Basically, our signal processor okay. is going to determine whether it's a finger or whether it's uh, an object. Okay. An object, right. or, or for, for example, it's in your pocket. Okay. Now, what's the implementation of this technology? Where can we expect to see this? So, you can expect to see that in smartphone. Okay. So, so we're having a smartphone. Design. We already have a smartphone shipping. For example, this is a smartphone shipping in China with 10 cents. Well, this is a traditional shooter game. Traditional shooter. Yeah, so you're going to have, uh, and it's uh, connected to the optics, and it's going to load, and then finally we're going to be able to... So the sensors are all around this device, not yes. necessarily within the screen. Exactly. Okay, so what's next for sensors? So we have it in smartphones, what's the next step? Well, the next device we believe is going to be wearable, so around the... Uh, basically, it's very challenged UX here. Okay. So you can use the surfaces around the, the watch, to create new interaction, then so we can do that. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. With that watch being so, so much smaller, yeah, I've never been a fan of trying to tap a tiny little oh, no, screen. No. Yeah, yeah. So that makes perfect sense to be able to just use a gesture on the side of the device versus trying to manipulate that little 
two inch, three inch display, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. And then you can find application in laptop, replace the keyboard, uh, or also automotive, automotive, uh, you know, all kinds of interaction in car. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look who snuck in! Wait a minute, she's in a lot of light. Right? Oh boy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's standing in the light. She's glowing. She's glowing. Miss Lori Gill. Lori Gill, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, folks. I'm a little starstruck. I'm finally able to see her in person I'm for the first able time. To meet you in person. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. She's going to run around here at CES with us on this adventure, right? You wore your track shoes, right? Oh, yeah. I'm ready to go. What are you looking forward to seeing? Everything. Everything? There's Anything, what about anything from the music side? I, I haven't even seen it. I just got here. <laughs> I just walked in the door and saw you too. So I haven't even had a chance to look around. So how much battery? So this, this one's got uh, 1.5 kilowatt battery in it. Okay. The motor is about 1.2 kilowatt, top okay. speed 30 miles an hour. Yep. All, of our bike, all of our scooters are built for the city. What's the range? Uh, this one has a range of about 60 miles. And this is, single... is 2,500 bucks. Yes. And then for the larger model with the bigger range? You're looking at about 4,500 bucks. Okay. And the range, so that's got two batteries in it, uh, a three kilowatt motor, and you're gonna get a range, give or take, about 80 miles on a single charge. Yep. And these are available now. That's great. Where would I buy one? Um, a couple different stores across the United States already. Uh, if you go to niu.com, you can find out where all the retailers are. Oh man! You know it was weird. We've been here about two hours, and we've only done this row. I know. It's, we haven't even done ten percent of this place, all right? It's huge, <laughs> and this is a fraction of what CES is. This is just you know the beginning. Oh my God. Let's see what else and we, we can find. We haven't even been to the back. We haven't even found the meat. A microwave, but for cooling? A what? Wait a minute, that makes no <laughs> sense. It cools coffee or wine or champagne in under five minutes. All right, a let's see. Coke in two minutes. Is this the Juno? This is Juno. Juno Matrix powered. Okay. Wait a minute. How could it cool things off? So um, it uses, uh, it's a microwave for cooling, and it uses thermoelectric technology to suck the heat out of a beverage can. Solid state semiconductor technology, no moving parts, I gotta no see chemical this. refrigerants. I gotta see this. Uh, you just pop the lid open, stick in your wine bottle, or your coffee, your uh, coffee tumbler, um, your, be your soda, your beer can, beer bottle, whatever. Close the lid, two presets, uh, again, that you can program. You hit one of them, it turns red. And then when this LED lights up completely blue, that means it's done. This was scalding hot. And now it's Whoa, it's chilled. I want this. Could you use this in a computer to cool CPUs? You could. You Are could. people doing that? Uh, no, that's something we thought of. Uh, but for this What's type the temperature of range and how fast? You, we can freeze ice. We can, we can freeze it. We can freeze how water and tide. How long from room temperature to below 32 degrees? Fahrenheit? Oh, I mean, you can do that in about a couple minutes. It's depending depending on, on the amount of uh, volume. Uh, volume. Exactly. Oh, okay. It all depends on the volume. We can get to minus 20 centimeters. This is the product right here. Minus 20 centimeters. So are these being used in labs and things like that? They're using uh, some cars, like fancy cars that have car seats that cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, but you know, we see this technology really uh, morphing into uh, things like um, next time you go to a convenience store, you can just see how many refrigerators they have. That's yeah, yeah, cool. it's the coolest stuff permanently, all, permanently all, the time. all the time. Imagine next time you walk into a convenience store, all the non perishable liquids are on a shelf. At so, how long for a can of soda? To, to Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Less than a minute. You could pay for it at a cashier and a awesome. couple seconds later. I love this idea. Thank you. It's great. Thank you. So, this is available uh, on Indiegogo now for $1.99. That's right. You can and pure... it, wow, that's, I mean, I would get this. $2.99 eventually in stores. In stores. You got it. Hey, Leah. Over here, they have this thing you put a can in and it, and it cools it off in a minute. How does that work? I believe they use a, uh, a what do they call it, Peltier cooling? It's something we uh, actually looked at at uh, screensavers with the Peltier CPU that's, cooler. That's not a Peltier cooler, is it? Well, that's what they say it is. I haven't actually looked it's at it. It's a Peltier cooler. Who knew? I know. Using electrical power to cool something, but not by running a compressor. It's like, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just a Peltier state. effect. Wait a minute, I gotta ask him. I gotta ask him. Is this the yeah, Peltier that's right. effect? That's right. You oh my God, he was right. Hey. Roger Chang. Hey. You 
are the best. What will we do without Roger? Uh, I don't know. I, I work for this guy. <laughs> now, so we now we're at the Neo Neo Fact. Is that how we're saying? Neo Fact booths, and we're dealing with stroke recovery assistance. Now, this is looking like some pretty interesting technology. I know a lot of you in the community have been asking about technology that's going to be a little more accessible and, and something that's going to help people out that's got different medical needs and so forth. So let's go ahead and check this out. So Neofect is a gamified rehabilitation solution company. So basically we make games and rehabilitation products that help people recover and it's a little bit more engaging, a little bit more exciting and fun and it's measurable too. So we started with our smart glove, which is what you see here. Um, that was the initial product that we came out with um, and it's for hand um, and wrist rehabilitation. So instead of squeezing a rubber ball 100 times a day, you can squeeze a virtual orange and make a glass of orange juice and right now he's playing a Space game. Um, so it's like a video game, but you're rehabilitating. So, so you have a, a, a mechanical glove that's got a bunch of different sensors, and you're gamifying it yes. during this rehabilitation process by hooking it up to a is this just it's a just gaming Bluetooth. console or? It's Bluetooth connected, and then this is all our software and all our games. Bluetooth, so. Bluetooth connected with proprietary software. Yes. All right, and now your, your target demographic would be stroke patients? Yeah, or? stroke patients primarily, but we also have a lot of um, neurological and musculoskeletal conditions. So okay. things like MS. MS um, patients. Yeah, Parkinson's. Parkinson's, um, okay. Even like arthritis, carpal tunnel, sometimes can help with that as well. Oh, even even carpal tunnel. Very nice. Now, is this available now in the market? Is yes. this something that's forthcoming? Yes, no, uh, Smart Glove has been available on the market. It's in clinics and it's um, at home as well. Um, our newest product is Smart Balance, which is a lower limb rehabilitation device. Oh, nice. Um, and that's what he's demoing right now. It works with um, balance, it works with coordination, um, and it also is for the legs as well. So basically, we took all the concepts that we had learned from our smart glove, from our smart board, from smart right. pegboard, um, from a cognition software that we've developed, and we all, you know, what we kept hearing was, we want something for the legs. Can you make something for the lower limbs? Um, so Smart Balance is the culmination of that. We just launched it yesterday. Now, see, all of these products look great, but is it just for the doctor's office? Is it just for the clinic? Is this something that we can bring home? And, yeah, all and of the above. It's both for clinics and for home. So um, we started off offering it to um, therapists, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and they do still use that in their office. But then we also made it available in the home so that people can rehabilitate in between their appointments. Um, it's a little bit more accessible. You don't have to go to a doctor's office three times a week to go and do it. And the key to recovery is actually um, repetition. So doing it Very as nice. often as you Actually, it follows you around. Like yes. Good, uh, this yes. will follow me around. Absolutely. Even me. Even you. Wow. Especially you. How, 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 how is this going to find me? So put that on your right wrist. Right wrist. Okay. So do you allow this in the airport? Yes. Do they allow it? Yep. FCC compliance. Have to be. All right. So it'll just start following me now regardless. No, so right now it's manual. We got it. Blue means manual mode. I'm gonna push this button right here. It's gonna take a side image of you okay. with this camera. Oh, so okay. it recognizes. It's computer vision. When it turns green, it will activate. And now, if you walk, it'll follow you. <laughs> how, now, how does this work? This has a little camera in it that scans me. There's five cameras. Five, five cameras in here. Yep. The bracelet has ultra wideband because cameras need line of sight. So if you lose line of sight in a busy subway station or airport. It'll catch up with you right. based on the ultra wide band. Nice. No line of sight. Yep. So Apple's it also gives you a haptic. Apple's so I don't know if you be in uh, their iPhones, yep. right? So eventually, would this work with my phone as well as the bracelet? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it could. Yeah. The other thing we do with this is it gives haptics to the user. So if you get more I than feedback, you get more than six, seven feet away, it it'll vibrate. I felt the feedback. You go. <laughs> Well, we also have an R2-D2 version. Do you? We do. We have Disney really? licensing rights, but only in China. So we did a limited edition of 2,000 R2-D2s and 2,000 Millennium Falcons. Man, we all know the, the, the battles of our beloved TSA sure. and lithium-ion batteries. And so yep. this is totally so, TSA approved? Uh, yep. So we have a very easy, accessible battery pack. And so you just disconnect it. There's your battery. 
So we've also done something to make it easy for dummies, right? With this little printout. So you as made well. it easy for me. <laughs> for TSA dummies. So if they don't want to disassemble your bag to see the motors, okay. they can see a picture of the internals here and now match their x ray. But then we also have the FCC licensing code here. Nice. And how much and when's it, yes. where is it available? It's available? It's available now. So this is a production model. Um, okay. So you, we've got them in our warehouse in California. So the seven days will be with you. Oh, nice. Seven ninety nine on our website. I don't know about you, Ann, but I am just exhausted. Just just a little bit. We spent, what, how many hours? Two here? hours here. and I, uh, Two and a half. Oh, my goodness. And we've only seen maybe a tenth of all the things there are to see. We got a long way to go, sir. There are a lot of big companies. HP is here. Uh, you know, TiVo. There are a lot of big companies. I don't care so much about the big companies. Mm -hmm. I want to see kind of new, different, innovative stuff. We've seen some of that. Right, we have. And this and CES hasn't even started yet. It starts no. tomorrow. No. I'll make a deal. Let's go home. Let's rest. Rest. Ten a.m. Ten a.m. I will meet you in the central hall. At the, when the doors open, Woo! okay, bright eyed and, and bushy tail. We will hit the floor running. It's going to be fun. And Leo's excellent CES adventure. Yes, sir. From Pepcom today, tomorrow showstoppers. Tomorrow the show floor opens. Scott Wilkinson. We're going to talk to him. We're going to talk to Sam Abel. Samad. Yes, He's sir. going to show us the car stuff. All the car tips. Dick D. Bartola tomorrow is taking us into the basement of the sands. I hope there's something there. That's where I really want to go. The fun stuff. The sands is going to be the big, the big fun stuff. The crazy stuff. The things that you never really think about. <laughs> One thing I think is very interesting, about half the companies we talked to today are headquartered in China, mainland China, in Beijing. And I think you see a lot work? more of that. <laughs> and you're already seeing export restrictions. They just announced that as of yesterday, AI exports are limited out of the United States into China. But I feel like China is way ahead of this. Uh, so I think that's going to be kind of an interesting subject right. to this show. Right. Is a lot of these companies are not American companies. Nope. And a lot of the journalists and the press here from all over the world, it's really a truly a global phenomenon. Now. Always is. And Sorry. I think that if you put the walls up around the United States and say, we're not going to give anything out and nothing comes in, it's going to set us back. It's going to be a lot of consumers missing out here at home. There's some really interesting stuff coming to us, mm -hmm. not just from China, all over the world. All over the world. All over the Emperor world. Leo Laporte signing off from Pepco. See you later. CES starts tomorrow.